Welcome to part two of the Castlevania Symphony of the Night playthrough, and now we're in Marble Gallery. One of my favorite tracks in the game. Wait, you got new armor. Put it on. That's what I'm doing. Yay. Uh, by the way, I want to thank... Uh, I forgot who told me exactly, because in my uh, initial LP for this game, my uh, my Let's Play channel, I wasn't sure how to pronounce that word. <laughs> I pronounced it as Curass. <laughs> the Curass? Yeah, that's exactly how I thought that you were supposed to pronounce it. But I, like I mentioned earlier, like uh, I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. I always called it cure ass. Cure ass. It was funny to me, damn it. <laughs> it cures your ass. <laughs> Wait, this is an armor? I thought it was some sort of potion type thing. <laughs> it's a suppository. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, it's one of a. Uh, one of more uh, Alucard's one of his more obscure obscure moves is that when you uh you, when you uh, use the punch at the very peak of Alucard's jump, he will do this kick. Easier to do when you get the double jump, but it yeah. is more powerful than your fists. It is also satisfying to jump on top of Dracula's head, though. <laughs> it's like die, Goomba, die, Goomba. <laughs> Yeah, according to Lewis, this whole game got started because Dracula shattered Alucard's favorite wine oh glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the only Lewis reference we'll get this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's watching us. In the future. <laughs> Hi, well, future actually. Lewis. It's us, past Ryan and Johnny and Ted. How's your new Alienware computer? He wishes. I uh, hope he'll, 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 if, he, if he's determined enough, he'll get it. <laughs> it just turns out that he's watching it on some library somewhere. <laughs> so the spirit orb thing tells you how much damage you did, right? Yes. You do. It's, okay. It's mildly convenient. You I don't actually really need uh, it, but no, you really well, don't need it. It's perfectly okay to actually skip it. Oh, but now it's time for a Saturn exclusive area. So every time I go near, every time I go near the entrance of an area that's Saturn exclusive, I will do a Saturn edit and show the area off. So what's our first Saturn exclusive Ghost. for today? <laughs> it's the cursed prison. Die, zombie ghost. Really stock looking ghost, by the way. And the, the, gimmick, the gimmick with the ghosts here, though, is that they're immortal unless you hit them with the holy uh, type weapon, which I'm failing massively to do right now. I should use be, the damn Bible. I should it's be working out the more Bible. Useful, then. No, no, I would think the, the I would say the Bible is a little more useful here because That's it goes. What I was all saying, the use the Bible. It's more useful than the oh, holy. Oh, I thought you were about to say holy water. Well, never mind. <laughs> Just because like you're playing the game doesn't mean I don't know how to play Castlevania. Oh, dead. <laughs> You're really not supposed to be going into the Cursed Prison that early, because the enemies do a lot of fucking damage to you. As but, if you but if you can persevere, you can also level up incredibly fast in area. Oh, and then we have this son of a bitch here. He, th that, he, that enemy in particular always starts off by facing his... by uh, not looking at you. His, his back is turned. But the moment he turns around and stares at you, that's when he starts going ape shit and starts attacking you with really damaging attacks. So the only thing I could recommend is spamming the shit out of holy water and hope for the best. Ooh, you're in the yellow. Oh, save room. What, what are we talking about? Fuck you, save room. <laughs> you're delusional. <laughs> 3D model. And like a lot of games, uh... Like a lot of game franchises that I've come to know and love, um, this well, this particular game was also introduced to me by my uncle, who told me he got into the game because of that bloody zombie's death animation. <laughs> <laughs> like he he told me he because my uncle he, he used to work at a, a game gallery, which is like pretty much the game uh, equivalent to GameStop. He was a uh, somebody was showcasing this game to him, and he saw the bloody zombie's death animation, and he, he fell in love with the game just because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, up to this point, none of the Castlevania games have really been, like, gory in any sort of way. Uh, oh. Bloodlines came pretty close. Hard to on the NES. 
Yeah, oh. I would, uh, Bloodlines is actually the first game to go, really add in the gore factor. I love how surprised. it's a CD on that archway. Yeah. In case you couldn't figure out that they're supposed to signify load areas. Yeah, I punched the shit out of that thing. I punched his ankles and he died. <laughs> ah, a <laughs> bruise. Oh, a bruise. Oh, I guess I gotta fall over now. It's time for me to explode. <laughs> Which is another thing I love about this game. It's about every single fucking enemy in this game explodes upon dying. It's Ninja Turtles 4 all over again. <laughs> I still think the most hilarious offender of that is in Metroid Zero Mission where Kudley and Raid explode upon death. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gee, what the hell happened? <laughs> I mean, I can imagine Kraid eating explosives, but not Ridley. <laughs> But since we, uh, the only reason really I, I went down to the bottom area of the Marvel Gallery is to activate that uh, rock lowering switch. But I also want to show that because I'm I'm playing this playthrough with the Saturn areas in mind, even though it's the PlayStation version, just so I can make a smoother transition. But now, well, that we, we now that we discovered most uh, the bottom of the Marvel Gallery, we can continue on to the right, was where we're supposed to be going. Yay. There are an awful Ow. lot of lanterns in this castle. Well, even in the Saturn version, you don't ever have to go into the exclusive areas. No, you don't, actually. You're absolutely right. But they're fun, nonetheless. Fun! Uh, but, yeah... I, I, and, it's the only place you can hear bloody tears. Bloody tears and, and vampire, vampire killer. And beginning. Uh, which are have ever since been remixed into every single Castlevania game ever. I do like I do love Vampire Killer in this game. You seem human, and yet though uh, do you the hear? first theme from Super Castlevania Four never gets any love. Destroy this castle. What theme of Simon? Then yeah, that's the same yeah. Purpose. You need to play more I'll DS games. <laughs> no Vampire Killer, Vampire oh, Killer in this game. Sweet rave party. <laughs> What a terrible night not for a raid. It is not by my easy. hand that I've been brought back to well, boogie the night away. Farewell. But that was Maria we were just ran into, by the way. But uh <laughs> Die Monster, you were not meant to boogie. <laughs> okay, I wanna ask this question because I'm not exactly sure. You noticed in that clock room. Just about every single uh, grandfather clock in the area was the same color except for the one in the center, which is gold colored. Is there any significance to that whatsoever? Not, or that, just, I, not that I know of. That's an aesthetic design choice. There to purposely fuck with me. Probably, Probably that. Probably the latter. <laughs> I really do like punching skeletons to death. <laughs> Who doesn't like punching skeletons? Like, like, the punch is so explosive, they scatter everywhere. <laughs> Haunted chairs. Die, table. <laughs> huh, the Bible never did that whenever I opened it. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. You glow red, and by coming in contact with blood, you heal. If you look in the background, you can also see a peeping eye. Yep. Serves no, no purpose whatsoever. There's no purpose to it whatsoever, it's just there. In the Japanese Cameo? version, are these women topless? No, they're, they're the same thing. Oh, really? I thought they were different. Whatever. That's pretty much just every other game, though. <laughs> like, I know Final Fantasy does that a lot, where, the, where they'll cover up people it's for... It's a little shop of horrors. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, Steve Martin isn't there. Odd. <laughs> You're not Rick Moranis. <laughs> Malacard, bitch, punch. <laughs> Sorry, I need my Bible. <laughs> Fuck you, X. <laughs> you all need to read the good book. <laughs> we shall I'm now Jewish. open to John 16, 17. <laughs> Austin 316 says that you just pissed your pants. <laughs> That's not part of the Bible, I just made that up. <laughs> oh, they threw the Medusa heads relatively early at you in this game. Uh, let's stand here for a minute. 
Alright. So, how you guys been doing? Oh, I'm okay. A little hot, but otherwise I'm fine. I think summer's in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> we got all this rain, we finally cooled down. But like, oh! What's this? The floor is a lie. How are you supposed to figure out to stand there for a minute? You're not supposed to. <laughs> is there no Buy other the way to get guide, that? Fourteen ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? I love hidden shit like this. Is there any other way to get this stuff? Oh, you can yeah, come back later to get it, but... You're supposed to wait until you get the mist ability. Fuck you, I can to, get it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you see, that, that metal grate right there, actually. You're supposed to use the mist transformation to fly through it. But you can do it now. Yeah. Yay. Hmm. Is that a cameo I see? Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> it's not over till the fish jumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> and so, there was no point to coming down here. No, there wasn't. Just to look, just to look through the telescope and see a, uh, a flock of seagulls resting in their nest. But anyway, uh, since we uh, discovered that uh, neat little elevator, which is the only time in the game that happens, actually, uh, we got the jewel knuckles early, and as well as the. Uh, the mirror cure ass. <laughs> cure ass. Which, uh, which prevent, uh, 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 protect us from petrification for the Medusa heads. Yay. Really Yay. useful in the clock tower area. Yay. <laughs> Was that your impression of a Down Syndrome puppet, Ted? <laughs> Since when did Kermit get Down Syndrome? <laughs> 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 when the puppeteers don't give a shit. <laughs> Now, poor Frank Oz. He tries very hard. <laughs> but he is no Jim Henson. <laughs> so now we have the second boss fight in the game. Shadow Alucard. The doppelganger. And you may be wondering... Also why known as I... Dequip All Your Shit. Yeah, Dequip All Your Shit and Equip the Red Rust. Why, you may ask? Because the moment you touch the, the doppelganger with the Red Rust, it curses him, and he can't attack me anymore. The only to thing equip he... everything again. <laughs> <laughs> Time to bring out the cavalry. The only thing, the only way Doppel, the doppelganger can uh, harm me now is by doing the wing smash. Did you just try to do there, but he failed massively. <laughs> failed now here. I'm just gonna kick him to death. <laughs> oh no, uh, a whole one damage. He also has, oh. he also has dagger. Hey, you picked the most useless Castlevania power up. <laughs> Odd. Lol. You see mm. what happened was that uh, <laughs> the werewolf was fucking with him that day. He's like, I need the most powerful sub weapon to defeat Alucard. <laughs> Here's the dagger. <laughs> Thank you. I shall use this to my, think of my advantage. <laughs> Yay, Gladius. Too Yay. bad it's not the Gradius. She gives you a little spaceship to fly around in. So, well, this is Konami, so that would have been a nice. <laughs> actually, uh, I mentioned uh, bringing up that uh, there is actually, I don't remember what weapon it was. I think it's actually the shield rod, actually. That if you do a certain combination, you can materialize the force field from Gradius, <laughs> which protects you from the front. The Donkey Kong skeletons, I love those guys. <laughs> Guns in my Castlevania? <laughs> Blasphemy! <laughs> At least they're forever. period guns. Still don't make much sense. <laughs> Well, of course oh. they make sense. Why would, would if you had a gun, wouldn't you use it? Did Four muskets, rooms. Did muskets ex exist in the seventeen hundreds? Yes. Yeah, of course. We they fought did. them. We fought the British with them. <laughs> but then it's not too far fetched, goddammit. <laughs> but why would Dracula use guns? Huh. He doesn't care about honor or shit like that as long as he gets results. Back so, yeah. through the warp room. We only took that warp room to unlock that other area. And to get a heart max up. Yeah. I love how the doors are 3D models and everything else is sprites. Yeah, it, 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 it does that a lot, actually. We'll be seeing more 3D objects in the background later. Ah. 